What's up guys? Welcome back to Show Me Firearms. I just wanted to bring you guys outside today because it is a beautiful early summer day here in Missouri. Getting a little bit warm, a little bit humid, but nothing we can't handle here in the Show Me State. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna do a lot today. We're just gonna talk about gun stuff and, you know, just have a good time hanging out. Oh yeah, it's gun stuff. Well, there's a gun box right in front of me and, I mean, I'm sure you guys, I mean, I, you don't have anything better to do today than talk about what's inside this box. I mean, it's probably nothing interesting, but as long as you've got the time and you're willing to listen, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at what's in here. I mean, it's probably, I mean, now that I see this, what's in this box, it, okay, as long as you guys don't mind, how could you possibly mind? <laughs> We have here a 1953 Hungarian Mosin Nagant, and this thing is awesome. So I was at my local pawn and gun shop a couple weeks ago, and I wasn't gonna buy a gun. I was just going in there to browse around with a couple buddies of mine. We were just gonna check them out, see what they had. And I saw this sitting there on the shelf, and I'm like, oh, that thing is awesome. Now, I've wanted to get a Mosin Nagant for a very long time. It's on my list, not the top of my list, so I wasn't planning on getting one in the near future. But then I saw this thing in there and it was a good price and it's in great shape and I walked out with it. I, it just happens, you know how that goes, it just happens. Anyway, so this, this Mosin, like I said, is a 1953 model out of Hungary which was a satellite country of the Soviet Union at that time. And we've got all matching serial numbers on this firearm, which is awesome. It's all original, nothing has been changed. That's just great. When I saw all the matching serial numbers, I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's on. This gun is awesome. This is the carbine version of the Mosin with a 20 inch barrel, as opposed to the, I believe, 29 inch barrel that the standard models have. I mean, a 20 inch barrel by today's standards is still pretty long. Like my AR barrel is 16 inches and this is 20. So yeah, but um, it is quite a bit shorter than the uh, standard Mosin. The wood is in really good condition. It does have some wear on it. It does have a few scratches. You can tell it has been used, but it's not like unsightly or big gouges or gashes in it. It's, it, it's just worn enough to give it a little bit of character. Oh, and then, yeah, of course you got that handy dandy little feature right there, the little flip out bayonet. It's just cool, right? Now, some of you out there may be thinking, well, wait, how can that gun be cool? I mean, it, it came out of the Soviet Union. It's a Soviet design, and it was a symbol of communism, tyrannical, oppressive government, it, how could anybody possibly like a Mosin Nagant? Well, my response to that would be, yes. In its time, this gun right here, this specific gun, was a symbol of communism and oppression, yes. But that is the cool thing about the United States of America. That's why I love living here. It's why I love the Second Amendment. Because we can take a gun like this, a symbol of communism and oppression, and tyranny and turn it into a symbol of freedom. We, the free citizens of the United States of America, can own one of these firearms and use it for freedom. That's awesome in my opinion. And that's why I love living in this country and that's why we gotta fight for our traditions and the ideals that this country has been founded on. So anyway, I know what you're thinking, shut up and shoot. I like the way you guys think. We're gonna do just that. Let's go send some rounds downrange with this guy. Okay, so for those of you who aren't too familiar with the Mosin the Gun, it is chambered in 7.62 by 54R. This guy right here, these are 182 grain full metal jackets that we're shooting today. Now the Mosin has a internal magazine. This guy right down here and to load it, Simply open up your bolt, make sure you guys can see here, and then you just insert your cartridges from the top, 
and just press them down into that internal magazine there. This does have a five round capacity in this mag. We're just gonna go with three rounds to start with. Let's do some shooting with this guy. Bolt's a little stiff. Okay, we have a round chambered. There we go. Let's go for the monster mower there on the left. That's a hard hitting round right there. I love it. Two more. Let's go for that plate in the middle right there. Oh yeah. Let's go for our old cast iron griddle. I love this. Mosins are just so darn cool. Am I right? Well guys, I'm here to tell you, the Mosin Nagant is just an awesome, awesome little rifle. It's definitely a must have for any gun collection. I'm getting a little bit silhouetted here because it's so bright up there and we're under the shade here. Anyway, it's all good. So I've got about five rounds left of 7.62x54R. And since this gun has a five round capacity in the mag, I figured let's just go ahead and load her up all the way and send those rounds Downrange, we did scoop back just a little bit from where we were last time. This is about 50 yards or so. This is the longest range I can shoot on the property I have, because this is the only place that is cleared out and everything else is solid woods. Now, the Mosin, I believe, is good, is accurate, up to about like two to 300 yards with iron sights. So this firearm can really reach out there and give someone a nice little pat in the back if they need it. Can't do that here in my property, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and send some of these rounds downrange at about 50 yards. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go prone here. Get our magazine loaded up here. I've been having a little bit of trouble with this today. I've heard that Mosin mags can be a little bit finicky sometimes. All right, come on, get in there. Yeah, and it's giving me a few issues today. There we go. All right, we got five in the mag. Yeah, that bolt's catching a little bit on something, not sure what. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can't touch the monster mower down there at about 50 yards. And it was here that he first learned his lesson about shooting a Mosin while prone the hard way. Yeah. Okay, four left. Let's see. Okay. All right. Woo, that's really uh, jamming into my shoulder there. Oh yeah, a recoil pad might have been nice, Russians. I guess they were tougher back then than I am. There we go. Yeah, this bolt is acting up on me a little bit. Ow! Ooh. 
Woo! At that angle. Yeah. I'm sorry? What? What the who what? Well guys, I apologize about that. I don't know what is going on. I thought I heard a neighbor or something yelling at me. I don't know if he's getting a little tired of the noise here, so I think we'll go ahead and end the video here. So hopefully we don't disturb people too much. I apologize about cutting it short. So yeah, we'll go ahead and end it here. And um, anyway, Mo's in the Gaunt, really awesome little gun. I love it. And I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of it in the future. So until then, show me them firearms. Yeah.